is up loud and proud crowd. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. I got my buddy Jeshua here up from college right now, just on a little weekend break to hang out. We're gonna be trying to do the leveling kit on the Big Stinky today. So what we're gonna be doing is hopefully being able to jack it up by the frame, put some jack stands under it, drop, you know, obviously take off these, you know, the wheels tires, um, drop just the front linkage there and be able to take out the three nuts up on top there, get out the coil and the strut tower along with the shock to get that all swapped out. With our spacer kit that we have back here, which is from Supreme Suspension. Like I said before, this is not a sponsored product, but this is what we run on these trucks. Link always in the description below for parts we use. And then we should be able to swap out the front shocks with the new Bilsteins because um, the front ones are looking a little bit worn out and rusty. So the reason I started the camera now is we are going to try to pick up a spring compressor tool to make this job a little bit easier so we don't have to take off the upper and lower control arm and that um, basically we can just let it down as far as it'll possibly go and then just compress it instead of have to um, literally completely disconnect the axle and take chances of you know getting stuff out of line. We've done it before that way with my white second gen but it took hours long to trying to line stuff back up because we just didn't have tools. So get the tool that we need and get back and get her done. Okay everybody, we are back at the barn. I didn't really do any vlogging when we were going around store to store because it was kind of a pain in the butt to find this thing. Who would have thought first place I should have went to was AutoZone. Who would have guessed that an auto place had auto tools? So we got the compressor, it is what, in the back of the truck I think? Right here. I've only done one of these leveling kits one other time but if it's as easy as the instructions say. I just rewatched my old leveling kit video. And after rewatching that, I realized we had done that in kind of a stupid way towards the end. The way we had actually put the thing together just didn't make sense. I was like, uh, yeah, just watching the video, I knew from just that experience, I knew that there was an easier way to do it. So we're gonna try to use those mistakes from my first time doing one of these kits and apply it to this. And uh, hopefully this compressor will work enough to get the little bit of wiggle room that we need to get the spacer in there and then it will save us some time and hours and manpower so we're gonna get to throwing this thing on jack stands throwing it up on a jack and getting this thing thrown into the truck here shouldn't be too difficult but i've said that before what do you think it's gonna be on a scale one to ten ten that's actually exactly what sam said when we started the other one he's like i'm like it shouldn't be too bad one of ten he's like uh it's gonna be hard as crap it's not gonna be easy every time we're like two hours uh, seven hours later. yeah yeah pretty much you just gotta round up a few hours <laughs> each time hopefully this does not take us all the rest of the day so i'm just gonna get the camera set up and see if we can try to knock this out Freaking bolt on the strut tower. Where's the light at? The nut on the strut tower, not yeah. in there. Pain in the butt. Terrible. There's just no room to get to it, and so it's one of those things where there's no room, no leverage, too many extensions, wants to slide Rust off. it out just, like heck. Yeah, it just doesn't work well. So we're just gonna get to continuing on with this, and hopefully the rest of it goes a little bit smoother. Look at this truck. Who would you just look at it? What do you think, Joshua? How was that project? Was it all that bad? Not at all. No, but like in all honesty, how bad was it compared to what it could have been? Uh, it could have been better, it could have been worse. It, well, it could have been better, but it could have been worse too. I guess there's really all you can look at is Glad it went the way it did, I guess. If it wasn't for those those brake lines, it would have gone probably twice as That far. is something I will stress is the brake lines in this thing. Don't know why, they were just in the way. In my other truck, you could take the strut tower straight up out from underneath the hood, basically, with just wiggling around a little bit. But you could take it out with this one, all the brake lines, they've been kind of like repositioned. They're right in the way, so like, we couldn't take the strut tower out. We just kind of had to work with it and put the shock in and then kind of do it the way I was really hoping not to do it, but we made it work anyways with the spring compressors, which by the way, where are those things? Here, I bought these today and best $30 I've spent, well, 35 bucks. AutoZone had these OEM tools, McPherson strut spring compressor. 
awesome. I don't know if these are technically rated for a truck like this with these uh, heavy duty coils. Save so much time because if the, we didn't have those yet, what we would have had to do is take off the upper and lower control arm, take off a bunch of those wires and cords down there, and all kinds of extra stuff to get that thing low enough to where we could get the you know spacer and spring back in there with an extra two and a half inches, which would have been a pain in the butt. So then, much better than it could have been. Yeah, much better than it could have been. But there were a couple things that kind of stumped us up and got us caught up. But typically, what were the things that caught us up for an extra thirty minutes? Just stupid. A little, rusty bolt, yeah. a bolt that wouldn't line up, or something yep. stupid. So it was just real small stuff. If you look at the overall project, it wasn't too bad. And it saved me like 500 bucks. So thank you for being here. So we're going to get this thing uh, dropped. Well, no, we got to lift it up, yeah. take the jack stands out from under it, and then uh, then we can drop it down and retorque the. You know, it's up good enough right now. Is it? On this side. What about that side? Pretty good? Nope. Okay. Well, we, you can just crank it up a little bit more. It's not the uh, TV good deal. Okay, those are out of the way. You should be good to lower it down. Okay. Get this on footage? Yeah. How uh -huh. slow? <laughs> I'll have you do it. Okay, here we go. You rolling? That thing gives no, no crap, dude. Okay, you got it. You got it good. That's actually you got really lucky there. So usually it's just like once it breaks this, it just boom, it just drops. Like not even kidding. Nice. Look at that. That's where she sits. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm always surprised at how a leveling kit actually levels a truck. That's why I'm saying I think the first gen's only leveled with 35s and pretty much stock offset because it always looks like a huge truck. But the hoods are almost the same height. Yeah, except these are once it gets the tires that are going to be three inches taller, it'll, it'll make be, the difference up. It might be, yeah. First gen's just got a tall hood. I mean, it's yeah. an old big square truck, but yeah, I mean, right there. Wow. Big stinky's uh. Big stinky's big stinky. Big stinky. <laughs> it is uh it's gonna be it's gonna be nice, especially with the big tires and wheels on it. Um, which by the way are these right here, which are filthy, but I'm gonna pressure wash them off. Um, probably right after they get put on. Just so we don't soak the boxes and get the wheels out of the concrete or something stupid and mess them up. But man, it's done. We did it. We did it. Which by the way, this tailgate works awesome. It works perfect. Yeah, just go in and start pounding one more time. <laughs> You want me to be strong? No, you do not have to flex on the haters. So let's just kind of show you what we did here and how it turned out. This truck helps the fact that it, I mean, there's obviously, like I said, there's some surface stress, so there's a little bit of rust here there, but compared to my white second gen, way different. You should have seen that truck. Well, we did that truck, it was, it was awful. Anyways, there's the struts up there. You got your leveling spacer, your coil spacer. You got the bill stains, of course, nothing, nothing else, which were a pain in the butt to line up. One of those things that were a pain in the butt to line up. Just too, just a little bit too wide for the brackets down there. So just, Made a real pain to line it up, but you know it worked out. So you know whatever, could have been worse. And then there's of course this side spacer and that. Now guys, let me tell you, the biggest help besides them, of course, was like I said, those tools, the compressing tool over there, made a huge difference. Otherwise, we would have had to just you know disconnect a bunch of cables and lines and brake lines and. Um, like a brake line bracket on the other side and upper and lower control arm and all kinds of stuff We would have to take apart too if we weren't going to compress that so um, Made a big difference, but anyways guys that is going to put a wrap on this video the truck looks really good Sorry for missing yesterday's video just kind of working on this and got to prioritize There's a certain time when you just got to get stuff done to kind of get things moving forward So hopefully this week that we can see the wheels and tires on this truck. Are you excited for that? Heck yeah. It's gonna look so good. <laughs> it's gonna look really good. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, definitely smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.